Hi Capricorn, how you guys doing? I want to thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your comments, your suggestions. I think the suggestions I got from you guys as I've been doing readings, they've been so helpful. You know, your comments are always the greatest. I just thought I saw something move. Do you know what I mean? I was just trying to move my feet. <laughs> It is the incense that I'm burning. Got me seeing things. Anyway, asking for messages for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith, North Node. Anywhere it applies in their chart that it could help them in any way. Okay, we got the world card. What's going on in your mind, Capricorn? Eight of Swords. Mm. Nine of Wands. Two of Wands. Nine of Swords. Interesting. What's going on in your mind? You're stuck in your thoughts. Why are we stuck in our thoughts, Capricorn? The Fool card. Seven of Cups. Oh, mm, somebody trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Hierophant. Ace of Coins. Three of Wands. Interesting, very interesting. You feel like something is a good investment. Or at least something has the potential to be a good investment or you're looking for a good investment. So you're in between. That'd be about business. Let's see. Ten of cups. I said business and then the cups come out. Six of coins. Nine of Cups. Knight of Wands. Okay, you don't want to make any mistakes. You don't want to make any mistakes. So you don't want to be brought down by Six of Swords. Knight of Swords. Wheel of Fortune, King of Wands, Eight of Wands. Oh, this is interesting, guys. I'm going to wait to pull any more cards. Devil card. Capricorn, you always show up in your read. Okay, so let's do this. So normally when I record, I usually shuffle, pull the cards, and I sit with them just to see if there's any messages, make sure I'm seeing everything that I'm supposed to see. So bear with me. What I have for you so far is with this world card, the eight of swords, the nine of wands, two of wands, nine of swords, you're looking for a solution, okay? You're stuck in your head about something. There's uh, something that's bothering you. For some of you, it could be your health, like you're looking for a solution. You haven't been feeling too good, but you're on the up and up. You're hanging in there the whole nine yards. It's just you're worried about it, right? I don't, you know, try not to go there with the health readings because I don't want no problems. But um, that's that. For others of you, it's more of life, your life in general. It's more like your life in general. 
I think you're looking for something better. You're looking for something that's the right fit for you. You're trying to do right. There's a sense of needing to do right, but you're trying to choose either like the right path, the right way to go about doing it. Because that's what this Hierophant Ace of Coins and this Three of Wands tells me in a sense, because the Three of Wands is when you already see what it is coming in for you. It's it it there's something that's very important to you, something that's precious. It could be a new opportunity, it could be a situation that you hold near and dear to your heart. It's like a higher calling. It's something that you place above yourself. It's something that you value more than yourself. The thing is, you don't want to make any foolish moves, right? You don't want to make any foolish moves. You don't want to follow the wrong path because it could jeopardize what this is because these three cards right here the hierophant ace of coins and the wands is there's something beautiful like right there it's like when you reach the end of the rainbow that pot of gold and you don't want to jeopardize that what's jeopardizing it what would jeopardize it what's got you so tied up in your head is this devil energy this is you showing up in your own reading. But I want to remind you, the devil talks about seeing things clearly. People talk about, oh, when the devil card comes out, person has addictions, they're toxic, they're this and they're that. But how would you have known that if you didn't see that? So he's asking you to examine everything that you're seeing and make the right choice. So don't feel like it's bad that you're stuck in your head or you feel stuck in a rut it's because you're looking for the right way to proceed the right thing to do and what could jeopardize it is that fly in the ointment because you're ten of cups you're ten of cups six of coins it talks about with this nine of cups here it talks about a step back so you don't want to make a mistake and you don't want to make a step back. Knave of coins and knight of wands. And what could cause you to make that step back is if you move too fast, if you move, if you rush in, if you're too fiery, if you're too, if you get upset, don't lose your cool, don't lose your temper. Don't lose your cool, don't lose your temper. Keep it even keel balance six of coins balance uh this is such a weird reading but i hope it makes sense for who it resonates with this bottom row right here this is where the advice really is okay this is where the advice is six of swords talks about healing okay next to the knight of swords he's communication and with the wheel of fortune it's telling me any opportunity you get, the first chance you get, number one, speak peace. It's very important. If you're going to have to be dealing with people, don't lose your temper. Speak peace to the situation, number one. And it's telling you to seek an opportunity for peace. Because the thing is that this king of wands here and this eight of wands, for some of you, you are looking for that chance to run right in and rip them to shreds, right? And if that's what you're going to do, in the meantime, you have to bide your time. You have to bide your time. Remain calm, remain peaceful, keep your thoughts as still as water. And we know, what is it? Still waters run deep. That's what you need to do. You're going to have to keep your thoughts calm. Let me see what was on the bottom of the deck bottom of the deck healing okay healing so if for some of you health was your issue that, that's what was on your mind healing for others of you there's an Aquarius involved that's what that star card is 
for an Aquarius involved. What else? See if I can give you some more advice. Because what is it we need to know? What to do to proceed? I already told you moving forward. For now, you have to bide your time and be that peace queen and be that peace king. Until you get the chance to take that opportunity and move forward with your plans. Okay? Just make sure what you do is good. Because the devil energy is here. So, you know, don't go crazy. Let's see something for the final outcome. Naval cups. Five of coins. Somebody got left out in the cold. Three of coins. Four of coins. That's what the root of this is. Temperance. Somebody got left out in the cold. Or somebody's going to get left out in the cold. And it's like they don't want to be out in the cold. They don't know how to be by themselves. And uh, somebody needs healing. Anyway, guys, what's this? 11 minutes. I'm going to end it here. Can you comment below if it made sense at all? I can't end it here. Oh my gosh. All right, hang on. That was a weird reading, possibly for love. If this was a work situation, because we even touched health, but because of the coins here, if this was a work situation, for some of you, you're looking for another job because you have things at stake. You want to move. You want to start a new business. You want to do things. But for right now, you probably have a job that was funding that. That was your stepping stone. So you might not be 100% ready to branch out into your new career field yet. But again, with the Hierophant, the Ace of Coins, and the Three of Wands, you might be forced or placed in a position where you're going to have to open up your new doors sooner than you would have anticipated. Like, you know, some of us, we work at McDonald's while we work on opening a barbershop, while we work on opening a laundromat. So we rely on that income to help pay the rent while we, you know, moonlight and take our clients and do all this other stuff. So for those of you, you might not be in that temp job anymore and you're not 100% ready to open the doors. You've already done the LLCs, you've done the paperwork. You might still be looking for like an actual business to rent. Or you might have just gotten this off the ground, but you still need to work that second job to help cover the, you know, rent for the facilities every month, something like that. So that could be what this Ace of Coins in a, a dream, a goal, a wish, something in your hand that you're holding very precious. But with that Three of Wands, there's like you have the eye on the prize already. So what you're going to have to do because something has upset your, not necessarily your stability, but something is threatening it. Something is threatening it. Yeah, you're still gonna have to bide your time. Either way, you gotta bide your time. It's like you planted the seeds, you got the key in your hand, you have everything you need. You still need to bide your time and find a way you're still yeah between the seven of cups and this five of coins it's like you're still gonna have to find a way you're gonna have to find new people to work with and just keep saving and keep the peace okay keep the peace if this is a health situation i honestly would like to keep my mouth shut with the health because you know we're not supposed to really dive into this if it's a health situation and you feel like the medicine isn't working or like they don't know what dosage they gave you or whatever because you're still not feeling the best but for the most part i think that it's not that the medicine isn't working it really could be that it was the wrong dosage and if you went to a new doctor the new doctor would examine the medicine you were given and he would change the ratios 
and he probably would take away maybe the medicine is too strong and then that's when you would start to feel better something like that i'm gonna leave this here thank you so much for bearing with me have a good night capricorn